Hello and welcome, I'm Steph and this is Real Fitness Coaching and in this video we're getting into a total body sandbag hit workout. Now I've got two sandbags with me today, one 20 kilos and one 10 kilos. So pushing the resistance today, 20 kilos is gonna test me. That's about my limit in terms of this type of high intensity interval workouts. Uh, so 20 kilos goes a long way. If you're not sure about the resistance that's right for you, as I say, always go a little bit lighter than you think you might need. You can do more next time. Uh, but a good marker is you wanna be able to do an overhead movement like a press working from shoulder to shoulder, uh, challenging but manageable for 45 seconds. Again, multiple times through this workout, we're gonna repeat upper body, lower body exercises. So this is about stamina. It's gonna be a great workout for you if you're looking to get stronger, fitter, healthier, leaner, uh, and improve your ability to recover as well. So as I say, two exercises back to back, 45 seconds for each, uh, and then we're gonna go 30 seconds recovery, and 12 times we're repeating that. We're gonna get into a three minute warm up in just a moment. If you know your body and you feel you need a longer warm up, there is a longer warm up linked on this uh, video, and there are longer warm ups again on the channel that you can go to in, in place or in addition to this three minute warm up. But either way, we're gonna get into our high intensity into work Workout. starting off with our three minute warm up now and we're going to start off with these horizontal rotations getting the whole body turning with the arms reaching out just as far as is comfortable now I'm turning through the feet as you can see so I'm getting that big turn ankles hips torso ribs and shoulders all getting the movements so a nice big movement so we can get a lot of the body in just a few exercises a simple sequence uh, gets a lot of the boxes ticked and gets our bodies warmed up nicely. We're going to go into a forwards, backwards movement now, a pendulum swing, a ski jumper. Feet a comfortable distance apart for you, hinging at the hips, arms going through that full range of movement. So behind us in extension, up into flexion, through the shoulders, nice and tall, ankles, knees and hips, hamstrings, quads and glutes, all in the mix. We're going to switch it now from a high to low rotation, Again, I'm turning my feet, so I'm getting that pivot through the feet, through the ankles, shifting my weight from foot to foot, from one side to the other, and down and up, getting that side, and now onto the other side, down and up, kind of this corkscrew movement through the feet, through the hips, as I come down, see the arms like a discus almost, winding up, and delivering through. All right, from here, I'm gonna step wide with my feet, one hand reaching across to the opposite foot, and then the other hand reaching behind my body, getting that side lunge, but also getting the twist through the body. So mobility through the shoulders, through the trunk, and also the hips, getting into that side lunge, just as low as is comfortable. About a minute and a half, of our warm up left. From here, standing in the center, I'm gonna step out into a side squat. So bending both knees down, just as low as you're able to go. Weight into those heels, sitting the hips back, not doing the hands out in front to counterbalance, get a little extra movement through the shoulders as well. Down and up, good stuff. We're gonna take a step forward, drop into a lunge, Rotate across the lead leg, dropping down, stability, control, 50 seconds. Last little bit of our warm up before I start the demo on our first combination. And down, all right, 40 seconds. One more on each side. And all right, from here, I'm gonna get you guys doing a job on the spot behind me. Can work the arms while I go through this demo. We have two movements. First is our lumberjack squat with the heavy weight. I'm going to set the bag up on the shoulder on one side and then go into our squat, one hand holding the bag. From there, we're going into our dive bomber. Feet wide, hands wide, hips up, down, and then shoot those hips up again. Down and repeat. Here we go. On either side, I'm going to go on the left with my lumberjack. And here we go. Down. Breathing out, on the way up, power, driving through those heels, and just keep that breathing in time with the movement of the body. So the bag, nicely set on the shoulder, one hand right over the top, to so keep that elbow high, keep that shoulder high, and the other hand supports the weight at the front. 
15 seconds. Down, keep that core strong and drive. Up, last five seconds, couple more reps. Down, up, one more, and here we go. Dive bomber, feet wide, start with the hips high and then drop down. You're going to go underneath an imaginary bar like you're limboing with your upper body. Up on the toes, stay nice and supple through those ankles, nice and pliable, flexible, and nose, chin, and chest just as low as we can. Triceps, shoulders working. We've got 10 seconds left and up. Core, shoulders, hips, and one. There we go. Next up, lumberjack squat on the other side. Same position, scorpion climber. Hand is not too far apart, up on the toes, and we're going across underneath the body with the knees. Getting that pulse rate up, fast movement. We've got 10 seconds left. We're gonna need all the recoveries. Make the most of them. So, three, two, one. Here we go. Just as wide a stance as is right for you with the feet. Slightly turned out, knees wide. Driving up. Again, elbow high. One hand supporting. If you've got bags that have got the handle on either end, then great, use that. Get as much control over the bag as you can. Chest up, core engaged, navel in, and drive. 10 seconds, legs working, core and back. Here we go, three, two, one. Scorpion climbers and breathing just as it's comfortable. Every other knee drive. Don't let those knees come up too high or drop too low. Weight on the palms and triceps, shoulders, and core. Good. 15 seconds. Keep the reps coming. Navel in. Five more. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Next up, we've got four to shoulder heaves. Step out, press up. Down, up from one shoulder to the other. Get that bag close to your body. Step out, press up. Hands close, step. One hand out, down and up. Five seconds. We tough on the upper body with this one. Here we go. Weight into those heels, down. Got an arm's length with the bag. I'll get a little bit of impact on the shoulder from the bag. Heave it up, using the legs and using the arms and using the back. The bag will fold in half. You use that to your advantage. Get that position on the shoulder that works. Okay. Breathing out. On the way up. One more. Okay. Press ups. Hands. Stepping out. Starting together. Stepping out. Get a distance that's right for you. From one side to the other. And weight into those palm heels. You can move the feet to make the position work. Down and up. 15 seconds to go. Step, one hand across and then back. As low as you can with that press up and back. Woo. 
All right, next time, next one I should say, see the long row, shake the bag out, get that weight even, split stance, one arm row, getting the lats, and we've got a high plank, alternate arm lift, hands together, feet wide, lift, lift, core strong, here we go, get a position, one elbow resting on the knee, and you're drawing that bag up towards the lower ribs, breathing out with the row, the standing stance, let you work with the bag and keep the knees out of the way. Keep that proud posture, no rounding. Drive that elbow high, 15 seconds. Working the core, the legs, as well as the arm, the back and the shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. High plank. And left, left, alternate arm, reaching out to the side, weight into the palm heel, and keep that core engaged, navel in, weight into that palm, fingers spread wide, up on the toes, and don't let the hips drop. Let the ride up too high. 10 seconds, one side to the other. Just keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Next up is that one arm row on the other side. We're going into shoulder press. Set the bag, fingers into the near part of the handle, and from shoulder height to overhead. Once again, let's set up the bag. Five seconds, heavy, loading up the body, and off we go. One, two, weight onto the lead heel, that elbow, forearm resting on that lead knee. Full arm's length. Try not to rest it too much on the floor. Halfway through this side, lats, shoulders, arm, core. Stay strong, keep focused. 10 seconds, lift, exhale. As you do so, four, three, two, one. Shoulder press, and here we go. No squat, just the press. Up, overhead. Holding those handles tight, and going to full range of movement. Up, grip, tight. Core, strong. 10 seconds left, and up, up, five, four, three, last one, good, Whew. squat matrix and plank ladder, and one mat underneath the forearms, squat matrix, double under, narrow squat, Wide squat, rotation, and switch it to the other side. Plank ladder, down, up, up, and then switch. Here we go. Double under grip, narrow. Step wide, step around, into that rotation, down. Keep that bag close to you, narrow wide and step around keep the breathing going throughout just dig deep 
and keep those reps coming. 10 seconds, down, around. One more on each, and around. Whew. Plank ladder, high plank, down and up, down and up. Just keep that core strong and keep moving the body. Ah. Drive. Coming up on halfway. Dig deep. Keep that body in motion. Strong. Say it to yourself. Strong. Less than 10 to go. Core. Shoulders working. And whew, brow up. Okay, reverse lunge, bag on the shoulder. Same side as that loaded foot, and then core twist. This is the lighter bag, holding the center of the bag and getting that core working. So two bags for this one. All right, onto the shoulder, and down and up. Again, the bag loaded onto that working side, that lead leg. Breathe in, keep your weight onto that lead leg. Very little weight on the rear leg. The rear foot providing stability. Breathe out, on the way up, and tall at the top. 10 seconds now, down and up. Just keep the body moving. Down and up, down and up. Core twist, hold the bag, plant the feet, and working from side to side. Arms just down as far as you can. The bag making this one hard. Harder than a dumbbell or a med ball. Plant those feet, core engaged, and twist. 10 seconds, working just as hard as you can. Four. Three, two, one. Woo. Next up, reverse lunge on the other side. And then inchworm. Inchworm is a walkout. So press up and then walk back. And we're going to repeat that again and again. 10 seconds. Again, get that recovery. Okay, here we go. This time on the right shoulder and loading up on the right leg. Down and up. Holding the bag in the same way as we did on those lumberjacks. Down and up. Stability and strength. Halfway through on this movement. Lead leg, doing the work. Down and up. Driving tall and keep the body moving. And that's it. Three, two, one. Inch one. Walk out, down, up, and back. And again, fingertips to palms, down, and back, straight legs. Get the distance between the hands as you reach the end of that walkout. 20 seconds, down, up, pushing into those palm heels, and down, up, strong. Less than 10 to go, down, up. Let's go one more. Down and up. Whew. All right, 
right, next we have whew, alternate forward lunges and then a high plank step out. High plank step out. From arms high, step, step. Working across, but stay high in the plank. Forward lunge, double under grip. Drop in and drive back up. Here we go. Step, forward, and down. Weight into that lead leg. Breathing out. On the way up. We've got this. Down and up. Hinging at the hips. <coughs> Weighting to that lead leg. 15 seconds now. Drive. Whew. Breathe out as you stand. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Next up, high plank, step out. Step to the center. Step to the center. Again, let the feet move. Keep them wide and just step across as far as you can. Shoulders, core, and cardio. 15 seconds. Work with it. Breathe with it. And four, three, two, one. Whew. Last three movements or three combos. Racked squats, high to low rotation. It's the high low rotation with the light bag. Up and across. Rack squat. That's actually going to be over the top. Here we go. Three, two, one. Down and up. Arms cradling the bag. At shoulder height. Weight into those heels. Drive tall. Breathe out. All the way up. 20 seconds to go. And keep your body strong. Keep that core engaged. Keep that chest up. And last five now. Four, three, two, one. Low to high. Uh, either side. Twist from the waist up. A little bit of movement from the hips. Uh, holding tight to that bag. 20 seconds now. Diagonal line from low to high, high to low. Breathing out on the way up, all the way down. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. All right, step out squats. Again, ranked position. Step down, step and down. And then low to high rotation on the other side. Ah, 10 seconds rest. Step out squats with the heavy bag. Here we go. Load up and step. Step wide and then back up and over. Side to side. Weight into the heel, hips sitting back. Chest up and breathe. 20 seconds. Down and up. 
Keep going. The end is nearly in sight. Five, four, three, two, one. And plant the feet firm as we twist. Low to high, high to low. Core strong. Keep you moving. Dig in deep. Just as long a reach as you can. Breathe. In time with the movement. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Okay. Squat to press. Rainbow sweep. The rainbow sweep with the 10 is up and over from side to side. Huh. Racked position, squat, so overhead press with the heavy bag. Here we go. Huh. And clean, feet wide and up and racked, up and racked. Legs and arms, core and back, working together. Just as many as you can. Elbows to knees. Over halfway through. <clears throat> Keep repping. Keep breathing. 10 seconds left. Now, down and up. Down and up. Three, two, one. Whew. Rainbow. <laughs> Here we go. Up. Wide and high with that reach. Shoulders, grip, cardio, core, turning through the feet. Looking left, looking right, and keep going. Last 10 seconds now. Up and over. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right. <sighs> Time to breathe. Well done. Stay on your feet. Breathe. Whew. You don't need me to tell you that was a tough one. And if you're putting everything into it, everything into each round, each exercise, each rep, then Congratulations, well done. Give yourself a round of applause because that was brutal. Hip turns, hip circles, getting into our cool down, back the other way, breathing just as slow as you can. Like I say, stay on your feet, resist that temptation to crash out on the floor. Going to our rotation. A good one for any warm up or cool down. The great thing about revisiting warm up movements as part of your cool down is you get to test and see if there's any change, any improvement in the range of movement. The body's hotter, joints are more lubricated, and that range of movement should come a bit more freely. So we'll wind with our stance. Sink into that side lunge. Not as fast as the warm up, Ooh, keeping that balance, but sinking into that stretch on both the loaded side and the stretching side. A little bit of movement, a minute and a half of our cool down left. A big 
movements to get big areas of the body. Side bend and reach. Side bend and reach. One hand coming down, one hand working up and across. You get so much from this reach right the way through the lats, shoulder muscles, intercostals between the ribs and the QL between the lower ribs and the hips, pelvis, and a little bit into the top of the hip there and the glutes. Just a little bit that is. All right. From here, turning sideways so you can see a small step, bending the rear knee, staying straight through that lead knee, getting into the hamstrings on that straight leg. Pausing just for a moment or two, down, hands to the floor if you can, or the toes or the shin, depending on how low you can go, just to what's comfortable. All right, and up. We're gonna roll the shoulders. Hopefully they feel nice and free now, the shoulder blades and the arms, are kind of humeral joint, the shoulder moving with less or maybe no restriction now. Activity complete. Oh, you bet it is. All right, fantastic. Give yourselves that round of applause. Give yourself <laughs> that pat on the back. <sighs> that was tough indeed. It's a warm day, but nonetheless, so much work, continuous persistence through those sets. There's multiple exercises, getting your head around each and every different change. Lower body, upper body, core, cardio, everything working almost every single time. Thank you so much for joining me in that workout. That was a tough one. Chances are I wouldn't be here doing it if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you so much for keeping me honest. I hope you've enjoyed this workout. I hope you uh, enjoy it so much. You'll put a like on the video. You'll maybe share it with someone that you know who will uh, enjoy getting this work, getting into this workout and getting some benefit from the workout. My mission is to help as many people as I can. I hope I've helped you get towards your goal today. Thank you so much. And I will see you very soon for another fantastic workout. In the meantime, take care.